Hello, this time we are going to make a conveyor belt. First, let's create a material for the conveyor belt. Import texture and create material. You can download textures by joining our Discord channel. Next, create a texture sample node and set the imported texture. And connect the texture sample node to the base color. Create a text chord node, press M on the keyboard and click to create a multiply node. Next, press S on the keyboard and click to create two parameter nodes and set the name and value respectively. Create an append node and connect it with two parameter nodes to create coordinates. Then multiply the text chord node and the append node so that the size of the texture can be adjusted with parameters. Next, create a panner node and set the Y value. Then connect it with the texture sample node and check that the texture moves in the direction of the arrow by the panner node. Finally, by connecting the text chord nodes to the panner node, the material of the conveyor belt is completed. Create a material instance. Next, we'll create a blueprint actor that can control the movement of the character. Create static mesh, box collision, and arrow component using add component. Next, set the mesh in static mesh as Q chamfer. Then, by adjusting the transform value of the mesh, it makes a long, flat, rectangular model like a conveyor belt. And apply the previously created material instance to the mesh. If the size of the texture does not match, open the material instance and adjust the parameters to set the texture to fit the mesh. Next, in box collision, set the values of transform and box extent as in the video so that only the character's feet are affected. If box collision and static mesh are inherited from each other, cancel the relationship. Next, rotate the arrow component in the direction the texture moves. In the event graph, create a float variable. Name its speed and set the default value to 200. Next, create a speed variable in the form of get and multiply it with the delta second of the event tick using the float multiplication node to output the value of the speed variable per tick. Next, drag box collision to the event graph and connect it with the get overlapping actors node to create an array of actors overlapping in the box collision area. Create a for each loop node and connect it with an event tick node. Then connect get overlapping actors to the for each loop node so that each actor in the array executes the loop. Next, we use the add actor world offset node to allow the actors in the array to move. After dragging an arrow component into the event graph, connect the get world rotation node and the get forward vector node to retrieve the arrow's direction. Now multiply the speed variable and the direction of the arrow node by using the vector and float multiplication node. And if you connect the multiply node to add actor world offset, actors will move every tick according to the value of the speed variable in the direction of the arrow. In the static meshes collision, uncheck generate overlap event to avoid overlapping the box collision. When finished, save and return to the content browser. Now place the conveyor belt actor on the level. If you want the object to move on the conveyor belt, check the objects, simulate physics, and generate overlap event. Play to check if the conveyor belt is working properly. Thank you.